Hey everybody, welcome back to Faraday Research. Um, we're working on my project today. I'm working on the Don Smith generator, which is basically a, a spin-off of what Tesla was doing. In the last video, I showed you a couple of his patents that he was working on, and pretty much I've kind of emulated uh, what he did. So you got your high voltage generator right here, and then I go to a terminal block. Now this wire coming off is your L1, the big thick wire here on top. Okay, now that L1 continues out and goes to the spark gap. And then from the spark gap, it goes back to ground. Okay, that's your L1. L2 is being energized by the L1. Just these uh, four, four, um, four uh, rounds of the wire going around. It creates a magnetic field, energizes L2. That high voltage comes off and I've attached it to... A fluorescent light so basically this is what Tesla was working on back in the 1890s and he actually had the patent done so I pretty much emulated exactly what he did but with more modern equipment same concept same science just more modern stuff so I'm going to show you how well it works uh, okay yeah let's do that I'll turn it up, get it on. Okay, I'm gonna keep it at about six volts. And as you can see, like the fluorescent bulb lit up. And there's the smoke back on. I don't wanna get it too close because uh, this thing actually gives off an EMP. And when I had two spark gaps in series side by side, I actually almost blew up my uh, one of my meters and actually uh, almost blew up my power supply uh, LED display. So be very careful if you start working with two spark gaps, you're going to get EMPs because the spark is going to intensify greatly. And all that EMP wave, holy smokes, it'll fry your electronics. So whenever you're working with this stuff, keep your cell phone far away. So that's why I'm kind of keeping a bit of a distance here with my phone, which I'm doing the video on right now. So I'm going to show you the EMP meter, and you can see the field. See the field that I'm creating? It's going crazy right now, all around here. So it's giving off a lot of EMP, even off the fluorescent bulb, big time. So yeah, don't mess around with your electronics, just be careful and, you know, if you're working with a high voltage, like right now I'm working at about 6,400 volts. So it's okay, but the, if I were to put that second spark gap in series with it, yeah, I could do some serious damage to my electronics, anything nearby. Uh, right now it's creating about a 16-inch field all the way around it, 16 inches all the way around. So over a foot in diameter, I'm creating an electromagnetic pulse field. So anything in that field, like, it'll light up. Like, uh, I hooked up an LED light with two light bulbs. Uh, sorry, with two uh, connectors on it. I held on to the, the negative terminal and um, let the other wire just dangle. And as soon as you want, come near it, the LED light lights up. So there is a field. So this is it. So I'm just kind of getting the uh, wiring and the the groundwork done before I start building the actual generator. This is more or less my testing phase. So if you have any comments or questions, or um, definitely I'm gonna have to add some capacitors to this, which I'll be getting probably in the next uh, week or so, hopefully. Uh, those 15 kilovolt ones I have here, these ones are really powerful. I could probably use them, but um, I'm gonna create a huge amount of spark with it so I gotta be very careful these are 15 kVA so yeah it's coming along and learning the circuit and learning how to build a coil the coil this coil here is definitely not going to be what I'm going to be using down the road this is just for more or less experimenting and testing the wiring what I actually have to do uh, the other thing too is this thing's creating a lot of ozone I can actually smell it right now so I'm actually cleaning the air in my room right now. <laughs> so.
So, yeah, any questions or comments, leave them below. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. Don't forget, bottom right-hand corner is the icon there. You can subscribe to my channel. And I also, in the description, have my donate button there. So you can uh, donate and help me uh, fund this thing and get the parts I need to uh, keep these videos uh, coming out to you guys. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're at about, yeah, we're doing all right here. Let's go a few more minutes with the video. So, yeah, uh, these little um, high-voltage generators are great. I actually, I bought another one. So, I got one here in reserve just in case. I, I've had, haven't had any problems with this thing whatsoever. Maximum 12 volts, it'll put out 11 kVA. So, that's a lot of power. And it's great for this kind of thing. It's small, it's compact, it's easy to use, easy to hook up. Uh, yeah. Uh, spark gaps. Like I said, I got a two inch diameter PVC pipe and I got a quarter inch 20 screws with bolts. And that's it. There's your spark gap and it's strong. I also noticed too, that the spark is a cold spark. It's not hot, it's not heating up. I thought this thing would heat up like crazy. It's not. So that's a good thing too. So if it's a cold spark, even better. Um, I like to keep the spark gap about one to two millimeters away. Yeah, so we'll leave it at that. We'll, this takes a while to upload, so we'll see you guys in the next video.